short session of 15 to 20 minutes. Hi, Ramang, are you there? All right. So let's start. It will be a very, very short session because today I'll be just discussing about the CP3 paper in general. Now uh, it's a three hours, 20 minutes paper for IFOA in case of IEA. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It will be a three hours, five minutes paper. So uh, you need to also understand this, that CP3 paper is three hours, five minutes only. And um, for IEA, it is three hours paper, right? So it's not three hours, 15 minutes, neither one hour 50, it's three hours. Um, what do we get in the paper? Okay. Let's quickly understand the structure. So the name of the paper is communication practice. Now, um, when you say when you say communication practice, what you actually mean over here is uh, entirely communicating whatever you have understood to your audience. Now, your audience here can be a, a policyholder, can be trustees, can be board members can be your manager can be your colleague can be someone who is junior to you can be general public can be a uh, government can be anything anyone right so first is to understand what kind of audience you are communicating to you're talking to so uh and what is their level of knowledge according to their level of knowledge we will be um making use of some kind of jargons, not making use of some kind of difficult words and communicating them in a proper way, right? So the marking distribution, it will be a hundred marks paper, wherein you will be having uh, 80 marks in case of IFA, which is assigned to the communication part. The communication part, by that I mean, you can either have to, they will ask you to write a letter or they will ask you to write a paper, meeting paper, email, memo, a press release. It can be an article. It can be anything, right? So it will be of 80 marks. Earlier, it was uh, used to be of 90 marks. Now they have made it 80 and 20 marks. Rest 20 marks will be reflective questions. Now, what do you mean by reflective questions? Reflective questions basically uh, mean um, by reflective question, I mean that whatever you have written in the communication, the 80 marks portion, what is the, um, like, they will ask you questions like, what kind of tone did you use in your paper? Okay. Uh, now, the 20 marks part can be split in three to four questions. These three to four questions will be approximately um, of five mark, four mark, six mark, something like that. Um, what all jargons you did not use? Why you did not use them? Uh, what was the structure of your paper? Uh, why it was in that manner? Did you use any numerical examples or any charts or any tools or any tables? And why did you use that? How did you use that? What kind of uh, data did you did not mention in your paper? Why you did not mention? So a lot, many questions. Reflective question, meaning whatever communication you have done to the audience. Um, what are the, uh, like, why you made such kind of communication? How you did that? Or things like, if anyone else, if you were communicating to a different set of audience, then how, how would you how would this thing would differ? For example, when we say that if you are communicating to a policyholder, and then in the reflective question, you can uh, they can ask you that. For example, if you are communicating not to a policyholder but to let's say, suppose um, a board member or your colleague or your manager, then how your communication would have been different? So these kind of things, a lot many kind of questions type of questions you get. Now, you might, when you hear it, it might seem very easy. You might feel that, okay, it's very general and uh, anyone can write this. But you need to understand when you see the CP3 passing percentage, it's very low uh, compared to other papers. It is towards on the lower side, right? So passing percentage is somewhere around 30%, 35%. It might go down to 25% as well. So not many students are able to clear CP3 in their first attempt. Reason being, they don't understand what is important, what is not. 
they focus a lot on communication but at the same time they're losing marks over there they're not focusing a lot on reflective questions 20 marks and they feel that it's something which is very easy but they end up not getting good marks over there in case of iei the marking distribution is the communication part is somewhere around 90 marks they also give 95 marks of communication and reflective questions is of five marks or 10 marks so it's very uncertain how iei gives the paper so this is the entire basically the entire structure now what happens in the paper so for ifa first i'll talk about ifa they will give you a scenario material a background um three working days before your examination so for example if your exams are on uh 30th three working days so they don't consider saturday sunday uh three working days before your exam on the exam portal itself you will get a uh, scenario material the scenario material uh, will be approximately five six seven pages you might also get a spreadsheet along with your scenario material which they have started doing recently earlier they did not used to um and in that scenario material you will read it you will understand you you can you know um see a few jargons everything you don't have to use internet you don't have to use any additional information any extra knowledge that you have no nothing everything which is given over there after that on the day of the exam and you will never understand just by looking at the scenario material that whether you are communicating to whom you will be communicating to exactly what will be the question all about what kind of communication you will have to present nothing you will understand on the day of the exam at that exam time you will get an exam paper exam paper will be again a build up on the scenario right so background you have got on that background it will be a build up that build up um, will be actually uh, leading to a question all right so for example in the scenario we have talked about a company i'll give you an example uh, for example the company name is abc limited they've talked about that it's a marketing company ha, sales company how what they are doing what they are selling they have launched they've entered into a merger with someone they are doing this that this that okay everything is given from that you will never understand ki kya hoga communication mein. but then again when you get the uh, question paper in the question paper uh, they will like they might talk about the other company which this company is getting merged with and uske bare mein they will write and then at the end they will ask a question so you can never imagine just by looking at the scenario material that what kind of question you will be getting right so you will get a very like a very different question and that by looking at that exam paper and the question you will have to write your communication so this scenario material is for you to you know have time with it spend time three days you have read it 10 15 times some sentences reconstruct whatever that we'll discuss in class and then back to the question paper and you're giving your paper now time constraint time is never a issue in this particular examination because generally students finish it on time or might they might have 10 15 minutes still left with their with themselves so time is never an issue but yes for some people there is an issue with time but for people who do not practice for people who have not practiced enough to you know write a lot of communication so cp3 can be easy but it can be easy after a lot of practice Again, after a lot of practice does not mean you are just sitting and practicing the past papers. You need to understand what things needs to be done, what things needs to be not focused too much upon. So you, a communication is a very subjective thing. What communication you are writing and the uh, solution which is provided by the institute is very different. Still, you can clear your exam based on your communication why because it's very subjective even they mention in their paper that it's very subjective and it's just an indicative solution that they have given you so a lot many things are there for example uh, jargons how long your sentences are how many sections you have divided your entire communication into whether you have used any kind of illogical irrelevant points um whether the points that you have mentioned are in proper order, the charts that you have used, the tables that you have made are proper or not, um, should not be very difficult to understand. Uh, you have included certain important points or not, grammatical mistakes, uh, section headings, title, proper layout, proper format. So 
content portion like talking about what you are writing in cp3 the content portion is approximately of 40 marks 45 maximum 40 marks rest 35 to 40 marks is the different aspects that different aspects which you have is what i talk most about in my classes because that is where you can mark score marks in in content portion aapka marks jayega hi jayega so aap kabhi sure nahi ho sakte still we will work on that as well and lastly third aspect is the reflective questions which is of 20 marks so that's how your entire structure will be that we will be you know focusing a lot on in coming classes and uh, apart from that you need for iei just to just to uh, you know clarify for iei you will not get the scenario material three days before you will get the scenario material along with the question paper at the time of examination now the scenario material in case of iei you will see is usually not very long because they give you at the time of exam so they keep it a little short the question is also a little shorter so it's not very lengthy so that you don't waste a lot of time reading that but at the same time um it's a little unstructured in a way that uh the communication you're putting forward in iei is a little different compared to ifo still what we do is we follow the pattern of ifo itself and we slightly tweak it for iei exams so that's how the entire structure will be uh what we will do in our classes you will have to first go through um six to seven lectures that's it six to seven hours of content wherein i have discussed one entire model um from scratch writing everything uh explaining writing the reflective questions so it took me six to seven classes you will have to first go through those videos those needs to be done through videos after that in my live classes you don't have to see any other videos after that in my live classes which is sufficient enough we will be discussing about the past papers so every week i will give you a target that you need to complete this paper come down to the class and then you are discussing it with me you are sharing your solution with me and we are discussing where you have went wrong what can be improved and apart from that every single aspect of where we can actually score marks in one by one we will discuss in every class right so this is the entire structure one thing needs to be clear that you don't have to put in a lot of hard work in this paper but you just need to practice there is no predefined syllabus there is no proper material from where you can learn memorize anything it's all about practice smart practice because you need to also understand that what actually you are practicing for you cannot just sit down and practice communication like that it does not work in that manner and apart from that um, one more thing is that um, you need to also focus on key points which definitely i will be discussing in the class um, those who fail their cp3 examination i get their marking i see their marking distribution and everything they generally fail in the aspects where you can score marks in so when i discuss the three different aspects the first and the third aspect is where they lose a lot of marks in second content aspect which is there that is something that you will not get very good marks in any way like any which way you will not score very very good marks but these two are the aspects with where you can and you can clear your exam so that those are the things we will be doing in our classes moving forward i will every week you just need to put in like three to four hours that's it uh apart from the live lecture you will have to do that and that's all for the initial few months because i'll uh, we have a lot of time before the april and the may 20 25 examinations so we will go in such a manner that it will be very helpful because cp3 is usually a paper that student is appearing with another paper so i i will not ask you to put in so much time and effort um but yes definitely when i'm giving you certain targets you need to do that complete that and accordingly come back to the class right so that's all that i need to discuss um i don't see a lot of other things over here this is something which has changed a little bit marking pattern so i'll not take up this one because it's a little older version i think all right so this is all about what we will be doing now coming back to the next class that we will be having next class will be it will be on every weekend saturdays uh timing will be in the morning so timings will be approximately at 9 or 9 30 and we'll 
fix that timing for all the weeks on Saturdays. Um, I'll give you targets. You have your students dashboard, which you have got on that. You can see that there is a uh, announcement section in that announcement section. I will be putting down um, what you need to complete for that particular week. I will also mention it in the class. I will put it over there as well. You need to complete that before the next live lecture, right? It will be accordingly and uh, definitely if you have anything you can talk to me as well that's a different issue but that's the entire structure of cp3 and trust me if you give your 100 percent in terms of the time which i'm asking you to give that's only like three to four hours every week and my targets because see i have seen all the papers from 2019 onwards 2018, 2017 papers had a different pattern, had a different style. So we will not be doing those. From 2019 onwards, all the papers, like 9, 10, 11, whatever number of papers, I know in what term, what kind of paper was given to you and what is easier one. So we will start with easy paper because writing a communication from scratch on your own will be very difficult. You might not be able to write it in your first attempt, um, which is completely fine. It will take you one, one and a half months approximately to start writing your communication on your own, right? So I will start with easy papers. I will give you the easier ones first, and then I'll move to the difficult ones, right? So that's how we will progress. And yeah, that's it. Like that is the entire structure. And Yes, if you have any further questions, you can ask. Do you have any question? Next class, as I mentioned, will be on Saturday itself, next coming Saturday. And it will be around 9 or 9.30. It will be a one, one and a half hours class. Also, please see the dashboard, the timetable portion. We will update the entire class schedule over there by today or tomorrow maximum. Yeah. All right. Do you have any other?